Hi, I'm Herb Branham, Managing Director of Communications for Grand Am. I'm speaking to you here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, where we're having a two-day Grand Am test this week in anticipation of next year's races here at the Brickyard. Indianapolis Motor Speedway, a great sporting palace, a true piece of Americana. We thought it'd be a great place to help put together a 9-11 anniversary tribute package. In addition to this video, you're going to hear from some of our officials and some of our competitors with some personal remembrances of 9-11, and they'll also offer some condolences to the families and the friends of the victims of that tragedy. Here at Grand Am, we care. We will never forget about 9-11, how that affected not only America, but the world. I hope you enjoy the tribute package. Thank you. Hi, this is Mark Raffoff, Managing Director of Competition for Grand American Road Racing. 9-1-1 was a, a life-altering moment for many of us here because we were preparing for a Daytona race, which was uh, the following weekend, and had the unfortunate opportunity of watching it all live in our conference room. We all came to the realization at the same time that it was a life-altering moment, and it's one we'll never forget, it's one I'll never forget, and it's one that will never let us forget the people who lost their lives or the principles for which this country stands for, whether it's 10 years or 100 years or 1,000 years. It'll always be remembered. Hi, my name is Jeff Smallwood. I'm the series manager for the Continental Tire Challenge here at Grand Am. I uh, remember the day that uh, I came out of a meeting and was told that something uh, very uh, tragic had happened in New York and uh, was in total disbelief for uh, a number of minutes until realizing that uh, it was definitely uh, something real and uh, again very tragic. Um, I'd like to say thank you to all the first responders that made this uh, very tragic episode much uh, easier for a lot of people uh, and certainly condolences to all those who lost loved ones in this event. Um, we hope that uh, this marking of the anniversary um, is something that uh, makes people relive and remember uh, just how lucky we are to uh, live in such a great nation. Hi, my name is Craig Stanton. I drive the number 44 Magnus Racing Porsche. I'm here at Indy doing a tire test for Continental Tire. I remember on 9-11, I was headed to the airport, uh, to Daytona actually, to do the uh, Paul Revere test down there. And uh, I just wanna, I remember that day vividly. I wanna be able to always remember and give condolences to the family and friends of the victims of 9-11. I will never forget you. We're talking about 9-11, uh, about been asked to give my, uh, give my take on it. Uh, you know, I had, a, I had a, a personal story. I was actually in England uh, when it happened. I was racing over there in, in F3, and um, my parents were actually in New York uh, flying to L.A. on that morning. And uh, so for a while there, I had about an hour or two where I thought maybe they were on one of the planes. So a uh, very scary uh, moment for me or, you know, a moment in time for me. So it really uh, is etched in my, in my memory. Um, so anyway, we want to... Uh, Remember all those that that, uh, that didn't make it, and uh, you know, uh, be glad for those that did, and, and uh, remember why it happened. Hi, my name is Mike Kramer. I work at Grand Am in Daytona Beach. I'm project manager. We're here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, a very historic place, and uh, we're coming up on the anniversary of the 9/11 uh, attacks. And, uh, unbelievably, it was 10 years ago. And somebody asked me today about that, and I was remembering that I was at a racetrack 10 years ago when it happened in Topeka, Kansas, kind of the heartland of America. And the shock that that created, even thousands of miles away from New York, shut down the event we were at and, and caused us to think about our priorities and, and what those kinds of things mean to me. So in the 10-year anniversary, our hearts and prayers go out to all of the people that were affected by that 10 years ago and continue to be affected today. Uh, they made a great sacrifice, uh, not only to help those that needed it, um, but for our country and people everywhere. And we appreciate what they did and what they continue to do. And uh, our prayers are with them. Thanks.